Curtis, this is a real good recipe. This first one, let's it's a it. breakfast recipe that oh, you're going to actually make. Wrap. And so let's look at the actual ingredients. Okay. Tofu breakfast tortilla. It calls for one 16 ounce water packed tofu, firm and mashed, one cup of mushrooms sliced, one red pepper seeded and chopped, one green pepper seeded and chopped, one medium onion chopped, one tablespoon of chicken style seasoning, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, and a half a teaspoon of ground cumin. And then we're going to put that. Uh, one tablespoon of olive oil. We got some, a cup of salsa. We got six whole wheat tortillas, soft shells that are warm. And then we're going to garnish with some actual um, scallions oh. or chives. Okay. Either one of those, okay? Now, those now, it's red and green. Red and pepper, green. Those are medium. Color. We're going to use yeah. medium? Yeah. Color. Okay. That we, we, color is the name of the game. We know mm -hmm. we are eyes. So I'm going to have you go ahead on and start with that. You're going to start chopping up the uh, green peppers and the red peppers, okay? Because they're the first things that's actually going to go into this uh, recipe itself, okay. and 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 not you know nice nice sized pieces to it, yeah, so like that. That's okay. nice. that's great. Okay. That's great. Color is the name of the game, and you know most of the time when people fix something like the um, breakfast kind of item, they of course use eggs, and we're not going to put eggs in this recipe. We're actually going to use tofu. And this is a 16-ounce water pack tofu. This is a firm one that we're using. And while Curtis is doing that, I'm just going to actually start mashing it up because we have to get the assimilation of actual eggs. So this is a cholesterol-free cholesterol -free. recipe. You want me to cut this up to him? Yeah, why don't you cut that up for me, too? Okay. Move that down a little bit for me, that, that, that cutting board. Oh, okay. Let's move it down there. And mm -hmm. this is where all the color comes into play. I'm just going to mash it up with your fork. And somebody asked me one time, can you do the silken tofu? That's the one that's a lot softer. You can, but I kind of like more of a texture in this. So either way, either a soft tofu, which is called silken tofu, or you can use the, um, the firm. Now, the silken tofu, is that the morinu that comes in a box? It comes in a box. Okay. Now, they do have a, a soft one also, the silken one, that's in a water pack as well, okay? Yeah. But I like to use this one here. This, well, I like to use the one I'm using, which is a firm. Now, Curtis, they need to be cut up a little bit that's more fine. I like, no, I like the nice chunks just like that. I want oh, okay. chunks. Let's go ahead and do those onions also. Oh, onions? Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and get my fire started. This is one of those ones that's quick and easy. And you say, well, how come it's quick and easy? You've got so much stuff you got to do to it. Well, let me say this. Well, after the chopping up, it would be quick and easy, huh? No, what I do is the night before I'm getting ready to make this dish up, that night before, that's when I cut all my stuff up. I cut up all my bell peppers and my onions, and I cut up everything and put it into a container and put it in the refrigerator. So that in the morning when I get up, all I have to do is just saute it. You see oh, what I'm saying? Okay. So you don't want to do that early in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and add my oil to my pan because these are the ones that's going to start up first, all right? And okay. you're going to use your spatula. We're going to let, let me just, let me, let's just get the heat up a little bit there. You're going to heat the onions and peppers up first? All that's uh, going to go in here together. All that's oh, going to okay. go in here together, okay? Right. So let's okay. go ahead on. You can go ahead and put that in for me. Right. This is red, the green, and the white. Try to get everything right. in there. Right on in there. You can do it. Uh, I have my hand like this just in case something. Whoa. Uh huh. Okay, that was close. Uh huh. Yes, it was. Yes, okay. it was. So far, so good. So All far. Right. 100%. All right. All right. Okay. Now look at that. I'm that not cutting up anything. So I'm cutting pretty. up the mushrooms. Um, no, no, the mushrooms okay. are already ready to go. And so for this recipe, we're going to let it saute for just a few minutes. Okay. We've already cut up and mashed up our tofu. You could even mash this up the night before as well, mm -hmm. okay? And then in it, we have the chicken style seasoning, and we got those mushrooms. So this is getting ready to start up, and you're going to bring that one forward. Now, Curtis, yeah. a lot of times when people think about, you know, we talked about this tortilla. We're using a whole wheat shell. And they think about the fact that, you know, we're trying to make it more nutritious, and so mm -hmm. with that in mind, we want to do whole wheat. And there's a couple things out there on the market now. They've got the 100% whole wheat shells. They've mm. got the wraps, which comes in a tomato basil. We, they got the spinach ones. they oh, got all kinds oh, so of many flavors. And yes. they're like, wrap and go. Just fix your stuff up and go on so out the door. So it doesn't have to be whole wheat. It can be different Well, you flavors. can do this one in different ones. But when I do this particular one for the breakfast one, I use the whole wheat one. Okay. And we're going to be using another one after this oh. is over, so they'll get a chance to see that oh, as well. Okay. All so right. we're going to go ahead on, and this is starting up. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and put the mushrooms in. Okay, Let's mushrooms in. in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. And you know, once again, all these different flavors coming together. 
put my lid on for a few minutes there. Oh, now that was easy, honey. Simple. Yeah, that was real simple. It's very easy and quick. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take... You let that simmer for a little we while? We let it simmer or? for just a few minutes. I just really want to get it hot because we're going to now get ready to add that tofu in there. How about oh, that? Oh, okay. okay. So we take the lid off again yeah, then? We're going to take that off and see. It's All got, right. Look at that. Look at that color. Look at that okay. color. It actually brought it out more. No. And now I'm going to move this to the side. This is what I usually do. To the side. Shall I put the ingredients in here no, first? No, no, no. Oh, no. That's okay. going to go in last. Now go ahead, let me just turn this down a little bit, Curtis, because it's moving up a lot faster than what I want it to. I'm gonna turn it down, okay? And then you can go ahead on and put that tofu right on in there, right there in the middle. Okay. So and that's gonna take your fork out. Yeah, I guess I need to go with that. Right in the middle there. Tofu Are we going in. Up? And, um, you know, you look at that, now you say, okay, that's gonna be somebody's eggs. I'm not sure about that. So this is where we actually change it up. We're going to add, go ahead and put the chicken style seasoning right okay. here, sprinkle it on top now again, me. this is not chicken. Explain that to them, it too. Uh, it's a flavor uh, agent that, um, well, won't you explain it, honey? <laughs> yeah. No, no, it doesn't have any chicken flavor. It's just beef the style doesn't have any beef. beef. No, yeah. no, no, I need all that. This is the, he's putting the turmeric in right now, mm -hmm. and this turmeric's going to help us to get that golden color that has that match of looking like eggs. And then, of course, because it is kind of a breakfast uh, uh, burrito, we're going to actually put a little cumin up in there as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Now we're going to start stirring it all up. Because we eat with our eyes. We eat with our eyes. And you can make, like I said, now two things can happen. Number one is you can make this up. Like I said, cut up all your veggies and everything. Or you can go ahead and make the entire thing up. And then that way the next morning all you have to do is heat it. This looks very colorful. Yeah. Yes. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. Sure is. Now, what I usually do with this, Curtis, after I made it up, if you would look over, go ahead and get us one Just shell out. Down. Oh, okay. Go ahead and get us a shell out. All right. Now look at that. We're using that a pretty? whole wheat tortilla we're going shell. We're a whole wheat shell. The fire is still on. We're looking good. Yes. Okay. We're going to, and we're going to put on that plate. Just do one of them. We're just going to do one. Okay. And at the end of the program, they'll see the whole thing. So you know, think about that when you get up in the morning. You've already got oh. that made up. Okay. And so with that in mind, all you're going to do is just take your shell and you, and you know, you can heat the shell up. You can heat mm -hmm. it up a little bit if you want to. And we're just going to take and put this right in the middle. Oh, okay. Okay. And you want to make sure you get all the goodies, mm -hmm. you know. And what we're going to do, look at that. Now, that look mm. good. Does that look now good? Now it looks like eggs. You know eggs. what I'm saying? Okay. Yes. It looks like eggs. Their and then appearance. you're just going to wrap it up. Okay. okay. And then you're going to just turn it over. Face down. Face down. Okay. Can I, can I do one of those bad boys? Well, I want to do, oh, you, oh. Can, you can, okay, well, you can no. go ahead and do one. Okay. Let's, we're, we're going to, at the end, we're going to go ahead on. Um, you don't want me to? No, that's okay. Go ahead. You can okay. do it. You can do it. I want to mess up your system here. So that's okay. All right. Can, All right. You know, kind of back up a little bit, baby. I need a little elbow room. Okay. <laughs> there you go. You see what I'm doing, Make sure you honey? get some red in there also, the yeah. red red pepper. Yes, dear. There you go. Okay. All, All right. right. How about that? That's fine. Okay. Now, uh, and then I fold it this way. Are you taking notes? I don't think I need to take notes. Oh, okay. And then I'll face down, okay. seam side down. How about that? So you can actually see that even your husband can do it. Because okay, you no saw Curtis got one in there. Man, what else supposed to mean? Children can make it up. <laughs> Anybody can do it. So you Even know what we're going to do. You, you're going to go ahead on. And I'm just saying that either woman doesn't have to be the one in the kitchen okay. making this all up. But anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to actually take a break. And we're going to actually come back because we're not finished. This is just the very first one. So I want you to just stay by. Have you ever wanted a good recipe or cookbook from one of our cooking guests? If so, just ask for our cooking resource sheet. You'll receive the names, addresses, telephone numbers, and other contact information from many of the cooking program guests you see on 3ABN's Family of Networks. To receive your free cooking resource sheet, just call 618-627-4651, Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central. Now this okay. one is another wrap and go. And I like to wrap make this go. up a day in advance for sure so oh. I can get that flavor that I need to have in it. And so this one's actually a mock chicken salad. Oh, Let's look okay. at the actual ingredients. Chicken salad calls for one 16 ounce water packed tofu firm, two stalks of celery diced, 
two scallions minced, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of soy sauce light, one tablespoon of lemon juice fresh, one half cup of soy mayonnaise, or one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder. Okay. Now, now, why a day before to get the flavors to soak up? Well, the one what? thing about tofu, and that is that whatever it gets next to, it incorporates or takes in that flavor. Okay. And you know, the one thing I like about the whole soy family or the tofu mm -hmm. itself is that one minute it can be like a meat. <laughs> substitute. Okay. The next minute, depending on the texture you actually use, it can turn into a sauce. And then it can also turn around and make a dessert. So it, whatever it sits next to, it just picks it on up and that's the thing I think. It's so versatile mm, okay. that I really like it. And this is a, kind of like a mock uh, chicken kind of a texture. And so guess what? When I get the actual tofu itself, this time I take the tofu and I put it, keep it in a package. Remember I said a 16 ounce mm -hmm. water pack? Mm -hmm. I take and put it in the freezer and I freeze it overnight. At oh. least uh, up to 24 hours. And it changes the texture so that the tofu has more of, see us, see us it's more spongy? Right. Okay. okay. Now you press the water out after? I press the water out and you're going to have still a little bit in there but you're going to press it out. And I'm going to show you in a minute how I'm going to actually use my hands to crumble it up. I want to have a kind of like a, a chicken texture to it. Okay. okay. Now and now, this is in the water pack, this is the extra firm? Or this is the firm. firm. This is the firm. Okay. This is the firm. And I do have, okay, what I'm going to do this, because uh, I, I needed to pour it out. Let's go ahead on and let's get you started with that so I can use your bowl. Oh, and I okay. can show them actually what I'm talking about when I say squeeze out the water. Squeeze it out. And I'm squeezing it out because the water, when it went into the freezer, it automatically went right up into that tofu. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And that should do it. All right. Now. Okay, now um, you want that. Well, let me just move this around here because I, I got a different bowl. I want to use the bigger bowl. Okay. Let's get that liquid out of there. And let's take and crumble up now tofu. Now, you used to do this years ago in pita bread. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. And I'm going to do something a little bit different. We talked about that wrap and go because you can use the pita bread. But okay. this time, we're going to use another item that they can do also because, once again, you can make it up the night before. Make it up the night before. Yeah. And when you do that, let it sit. Let yeah. it sit. And that tofu will pick it up and it will have a nice flavor, assimilation of chicken. Look at that, how the pieces oh, look. Okay. Okay. Looks like a, a ch the chicken that you actually crumble up a little bit there, mm -hmm. or dice, okay, or mince, whichever way. All right. Now, when you do finish that up there, Curtis, I'm going to go ahead on. That's finished. I'm going to go ahead on with that. I'm going to add the scallions on in. Okay. Oh, and then we're going to go ahead on. That's that's probably enough. Though. Just that that celery there. Leave Let's this. go ahead and put that one in. Okay. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. yummy. Okay. Okay. I think we finished with the cutting board. Now we're finished with the cutting board. All right. Okay. And I'm going to bring this one out because we're going to make an actual sauce to go in this. And so what we have here is that Curtis is going to take that lemon. He's going to get that lemon squeezed out. I'm going to take a spatula and I'm going to go ahead and put in this. Is, excuse me, the soy mayonnaise. I'm going to go ahead and put that into a bowl. You get that at the regular store now. Regular store. Mm -hmm. Regular store. There's they call it now, There's more than one they got, mayonnaise they soy They got the base. grape seed out now. They've got a lot of different combinations, and all of them are kind of a simulation of a mayonnaise, okay? Right. And I like that. Um, I've got the mayonnaise there. I'm going to go ahead on and add in now the light soy sauce. I'm going to add in the garlic. Okay. I'm going to add in the turmeric. Turmeric. Get all of it out of there. And then I'm going to ask you to go ahead on and do the okay. lemon juice. Why don't you go ahead and stir that All in right. for me? Lemon juice going in. And then you have a, um, you can use the whisk one here, and you can just kind of whisk that around. I think you're going to do a lot. Well, let's, stir, let's do this one here first. Yeah. Let's do this. Stir it up. Because now once this hits now, it's not going to be, it's going to have mm -hmm. to look like a chicken kind of a color, okay? Well, now it's turning, what, well, the turmeric The turmeric makes it turn. With the color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can go ahead and spin with oh. that if you want to. Okay. And let me just get a spoon over here. So we're going to mix in now 
the celery, the scallions, because here comes now where the flavor is going to come in. You move these out the way, mm -hmm. and you can slowly start adding that in for me. Okay. Almost like a mustard, huh? It looks almost like a mustard, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, let's just get all that in there. Remember now, it's, as it sits, the flavor begins to change, and it is really delicious. It may not last that long in our home, 24 <laughs> hours, but... Uh, now, you mentioned you had the what, garlic and onion powder. Yeah. Did you? Okay. Yep. As opposed to garlic and onion salt. And let's talk a minute about that. Why am I not using onion and garlic salt? Oh, you want me to answer that question? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I think the last time I'll be asking you that. Uh, onion salt and garlic salt is nothing more than salted garlic and salted onion. That's basically what it is. Now, how hard was that? Now, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? That was pretty easy. I've just been hanging but out now, with you. Now, now, look at that. Now, can you add, you want to add more to that, or that's about it, huh? No, I don't want to add any more to it. I think you did a good job. Thank you. You did a good job. Mm -hmm. Now, you see that I color the texture, believe yeah. it or not, mm -hmm. when you kind of see that, once again, we're eating with our eyes, and when you kind of see that, uh, it sits for a few minutes, and um, mm -hmm. the flavor's going to get in there, and it actually looks like kind of like a chicken salad, yeah. all right? Mm -hmm. The thing I like about the tofu is that not only does it, uh, you can mimic that of chicken, bite breast of the chicken, mm -hmm. but you can also mimic that of turkey as well, oh, okay. just by freezing it, all mm -hmm. right? And one other show a long time ago, I actually took the silken tofu and I froze it for three days straight. Chicken cacciatore. And I made chicken yeah, cacciatore, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. And people that's a three-day like, ordeal. They call, yeah, that's, yeah, that one's a little bit longer, but <laughs> once again, mm -hmm. you can make your things, I'm talking about wrap and go, make things up, Get them prepared. Uh, use a day of the week that you might want to just do. I call all my cooking. I might do all my cooking on a Sunday. Or I might do it on a Monday. I just fix whatever I'm going to have for the whole week. I might make up all my salads and all the things I'm going to mm. be using for wraps. Because we travel a lot. So we want to make sure that the food that we eat are, is good, nutritious foods. And so... And I just want to thank you publicly for fixing these meals for me over the years. And I just want to let people know that uh, I really appreciate these meals. and the love that you put into these preparations of uh, wonderful, nutritious meals. Well, you're the man. I want to make sure yeah, that you're, you're fed right. Okay. Okay. So let's now, continue. Now, now, I tell you what, <laughs> we've got one more, and, I'll, and this one here, when you see at the end of the program, we're going to put that on a whole wheat, like a, a submarine roll with lettuce and tomatoes and everything, and so this is another one of those wrap and goes. Now, let's look at the very next one colorful veggie wraps. It calls for six tomato basil tortilla wraps, one half cup of soy mayonnaise, six thin slice, slices of tomatoes, six red curly leaf lettuce shredded, one container of organic alfalfa sprouts, one package of mock deli slices cut into strips, and six slices of soy cheese, which is optional. Now, once again, this is another quick and easy recipe, okay? Okay, another and it, wrap. It, it's quick, and you don't have to, it's, this actually is one of my quickest ones. And once again, you can okay. make it up the day before, or you can actually make it up a little bit later on, depending on what you want to do, but it's not, it's quick and easy. Okay. And we're using a different kind of a shell this time. Okay, what? Okay, if you oh, were just there, okay. we have a uh, tomato basil. Now, okay, just I see the different one color of them out here. There. Yes. And these are wraps. Okay. Which is uh, larger than mm -hmm. your tortilla okay. shell, so it's a bigger one. So we're just going to lay that down. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the size we're going to be using. I'm going to put it over here because I need for you to go ahead. We said we're going to have to take and cut our, our lettuce up we'll fine this for this one here. Bit. Yeah. Okay. And just go ahead on and uh, chop that up for us. All right. You know, fine. It's fine. It's going to go inside its wrap. Colorful, I call yes, it. it is. Okay, and you can do a couple things, you know. I, I use some time either... Um, the colorful uh, spring salad, or you can use the red leaf lettuce, you can use the green leaf lettuce, but it's all about color once again that we're talking about. So I'm going to move this over, Curtis, because now I need for you to uh, go ahead on and uh, real thin, thin sliced tomato because it's going to go inside this wrap. Okay. Now, also, as he's doing that, there is a lot of um, deli meats that are out now on the market, and you can look in your grocery section and see which ones are available especially when you talk about, you know, children's lunches, um, trying to 
uh, find something they can eat that doesn't have the, the fat, the cholesterol, so on and so forth, okay? So with that in mind. And those luncheon meats also, a lot of them have the nitrates. Absolutely. Which are some carcinogens. So you don't want that either. Okay. Okay, that's enough, honey? Yes. And now I got my deli meat here that we're going to be using. If you'd let me hold that knife there. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it also in thin slices. Now again, you have the turkey, you have the chicken, you have different. Turkey, chicken. Uh, they have an assimilation and of those, all, all the different ones. They're all, they're not, they're, okay. none of them are real. Made from a soy base once again. Okay. It has a nice texture, a nice, a nice mouthfeel yes, too. Yes, yes. Okay. Now I, I've got, once again, uh, my soy. Um, this is a, 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 a margarine, a mayonnaise. Okay. It's actually from grapeseed. Oh, and okay. And so, once again, we're going to take and fill up and go ahead and our coat mm -hmm. that. Coat it up, coat it up, coat it up. All right. Tomato basil wrap, huh? Mm hmm. Okay. And it makes a nice wrap, a nice size wrap. Okay. Mm hmm. Look at that. Look at that. That can be really a, a one meal, right there. It is, because, yeah. Because it's so big, and you just, can really stuff it. Right. I'm just okay. doing that one there, right there. And we're going to take and put some of our lettuce right here in the middle of it. All right. Very, very colorful. We're going to take our thin slices of tomatoes. You need some more? No, no, no. Okay. We're going to put that on there as well. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take and put some of our meat slices on there too. Okay. We really like the uh, the bologna. It's yep. good. And this and, oh, and and this one here is a um, what, a turkey. That's the turkey. A one. mock turkey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to put on there as well. And then we're going to put some sprouts on there too. Help oh, out okay. the sprouts. This would be nice and nice and fat. You know what I'm saying? And then we're just going to once again we're going to roll it up. Now I like this one because when you once you roll this up, you can actually curl it okay. like so, and then you just go and eat it. Well, guess what? We're going to show you because we've we've showed you three different types of ways to wrap and go, and so we're going to put all of our stuff together so you can see the finished product. So just stay by. Have you ever wanted a good recipe or cookbook from one of our cooking guests? If so, just ask for our cooking resource sheet. You'll receive the names, addresses, telephone numbers, and other contact information from many of the cooking program guests you see on 3ABN's family of networks. To receive your free cooking resource sheet, just call 618-627-4651, Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central. We have actually come to the end of this hey, program, you sure and have. we've got all kind of things that you can do, wrap and go. And I mean, it's just unsurmountable about the amount of things you can actually Unlimited. do. Unlimited. Just to get that good nutrition in. That's the name of the mm -hmm. game. And so, with that in mind, and we make it very off convenient too. Convenient and very colorful. You know, as and a very of, nutritious. Yes, the kind of food you take to your job with you or whatever, and they'll say, well, "What is that?" And of course, it's all plant-based, which is really good. Okay, and so we started we off with that breakfast, uh, tofu breakfast tortilla, which has really got the assimilation of eggs and bell peppers and um, onions inside and of it. You got it. some, what's that, sour cream? Sour cream, soy, sour soy cream with and some salsa. Mild salsa. And okay. you got your chives on top of it. All right, let's And then go we ahead. went to a mock chicken salad. Mock all right, chicken and salad. And it's got a really good, uh, I froze that tofu, remember now. Mm, that looks and good, uh, that honey. has the. Um, onions and it also has a celery inside of it and mm -hmm. all the real good goodies in it and I mean don't you want to just go ahead and I just go want to after take one that bite one. right now <laughs> and then the last one we did was the actual vegetable wrap and that one has the tomatoes and it has the, the alfalfa sprouts mm -hmm. in it and it's got the uh, lettuce and then whatever kind of deli meat you want to put inside now of you it. Tied it with a knot was that the scallion that's just nothing but yeah that's just, just a scallion kind of that you can do that with together or mm -hmm. just for mm -hmm. Appearance wise. Appearance wise, and you can get a chance, and, and I know that you can actually see. You can actually see, and I'll, I'll kind of hold up those. You can actually get a chance to see inside yes. that, uh -huh. all the goodies inside mm, of that, right? Okay, yes. Okay, there you and go. so. You can see the meat just oozing out. All you need from that is just some chips or something, you know, mm -hmm. like you have some baked tortilla chips to go with that. You got your stuff to go along with our breakfast meal. You have whatever's going to go along with your lunch meal mm -hmm. or light supper meal. You are good to go. So any of these can be separately with some fruit, as you said before, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe some... Um, baked chips. Well, you don't really need baked chips, but uh, this would be it right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, as always, John 10, 10, Jesus said, I come, that they might have life and have, have it more abundantly. abundantly. See you next time.